All right, all right. This is your boy Loco from Crypto. Uh, just coming to you today with just a little quick video today, man. We're being comp we're being carpet bombed by the Oracle, and <clears throat> you know he's speaking today. He's speaking today, and I won't be surprised if the man comes out with two or three more videos. So it's definitely a day of listening uh, and just just really really getting focused, man. We this is the week, man. We definitely got Thorncoin opening up um, in the next pretty much five days. Um, projected Cresos, I think was projected on the 15. We don't really know, um, but I know it's coming up very soon for either an internal or an external exchange. And, um, and, and it's just a very powerful week that we can just, I mean, it's going to be a very strong week. I do believe um, when, when, when some of these exchanges are, are going to start opening up, especially for those who are invested in a lot of other platforms. Um, I know you guys are very, very busy, especially if you're spreading this out through different type of platforms. Uh, but I definitely want to just say thank you for all my subscribers. Thank you uh, for everything that you guys, um, you know, for the support, the comments. I mean, we definitely, uh, we're definitely making some noise. I mean, this page is growing every day. Um, and uh, it's just a blessing uh, to see where we at when we only uh, started this page literally about a week or eight days ago. So the tremendous growth that we're having is really exciting. I definitely want to give a shout out to the Telegram. Um, it's a great channel for you guys to just get in there. We're always communicating. Um, everybody's feeding off of each other's feedback. Um, and one thing, we, when we go through some of these things, especially when we talk about Cresos, I think a lot of people are a lot worried, and I'll address some of some of those things today. Um, but that Telegram really helps a lot because even though you might be going through something that is not making sense to you, there's a lot of people that are doing okay in Cresos when it comes to collecting a certain amount of money on their interest payment. Um, there's people not missing a beat. So, you know, there's people there that are still strong-minded and there's still a strong-minded community because there's a lot of people out there that are getting paid and there's a lot of people that are not. And I wanted to address this today on this on this video. Um, so definitely go on there, check that out. Definitely, it's, it's a quick link. You'll see it down there. I um, mean, you can definitely get involved and, and we're always there in and out 24 seven, feeding off of each other, which is a great vibe. Um, but one thing I want to talk about with Cresos, um, and you know, first, I don't like losing money, no matter how much I invested and you don't either. And there's a lot of you over here that are heavily invested in Cresos um, and, uh, and, and really looking for Cresos to come through. Um, and one thing that I would like to talk about as an investor, you and me, uh, the best thing we can do is we did everything we can. I mean, if you just take a step back and you are where you at right now in Cresos, you did everything you can, you know, and, and, and it, we learned throughout the, the Cresos thing, because when we first got into Cresos, the first thing you saw was everybody try to sell the order. They try to get that, that $14 uh, per coin, but they very quickly in the first few weeks saw like, whoa, like this coin ain't going anywhere and nobody going to buy this coin at 14. There's really no buyer selling type of transitions going on. So we're really looking for the external exchange, for the outside buyers that want to buy this coin for whatever we want. But if we knew we were going to take a dump on a coin, which we knew the coin might go down to five, six, two dollars, whatever it may be, we knew that it made no sense to leave the coin and try to sell it at 14 so it wasn't going to happen. So as we started evolving with, with Cresos, what did we do? We took a lot of those coins that we wanted to initially sell at $14 and we started loaning it. Why? Because we knew at the end of the day we can accumulate USD so that eventually, whether the coin, when the coin drops, you know, you can buy a lot of those Cresos coin at a smaller value and then just sell it for whatever the value was. It didn't even matter if Cresos went up to $20, if Earth Cresos went down to $2. The goal was to collect the interest rate to then buy the coin and sell it for whatever it was on the market. But this, so as investors, that's what we did. And by doing that, for Cresos, we have solidified a strong platform because we have taken a lot, a lot of the coins. And I know a lot of people have invested just was just like, you know what, forget it. It makes no sense. Let me collect this USD. And we took it all out of the market. We took it all out of the market. And we had and we locked up those coins up for six months. You know, so anybody to hear sit here and say that Cresos is not strong when it comes to them not having potential makes absolutely no sense because no one's pretty much selling this coin. This coin is all locked up in a certain amount of loans. So the limited supply of these coins can only be sold at a certain value. So we did everything we can. So I definitely want to commend you for that because we have definitely been involved and you, you definitely see more videos of people just saying, you know what, let me just make a bigger loan and collect this interest rate. But Cresos got to step it up. And when I say it with that, I mean, you got people, like I said, that I talked about on this telegram, people getting 100% paid on their payment and they're making payment. They just got to fix this bug out. 
they got to fix this bug out because there's a lot of you over here that want to be successful with this platform. And I'm going to push this platform all the way because there's so much potential. They're through. They came through. We're at the lending program. Pretty soon, I think they're going to be opening up with the internal or the external exchange so that we can do it. I don't care if the value goes to a dollar or Chris Coast coin, but pay us our interest. You know, if you just pay us our interest, we're going to be fine. I remember it was like a, a week ago or was it three days ago that I woke up early in the morning because I got a I got an inside scoop that, that, that Creos made a payment and it didn't even matter. And then at that moment, hope and everything was back into this platform. And that's all they have to do. That's all they do have to do. If they don't want to communicate, that's fine. But do your part. Do your part. Do your part. Um, and, and, and that's what they need to do. And, that, and that's that's something that we really, really they need to do on their part so that we can stay focused on this platform because there's nothing that we can do. There's nothing, nothing that we can do. So, I mean, Chrysos, you know, that, that's just a shout out for you guys over there to just really, really take a step back. Look at that bug that you need to work out because it don't make no sense to me that people are getting paid a hundred percent, but then homeboy over here don't got nothing or he's not getting paid or it has to wait for this whole, that whole correction thing to happen to get money. And then four days later, we're not getting money. It just don't make no sense. So do I believe somebody who just doesn't care or is trying to quote unquote exit scam on us or whatever um, would even have some kind of system where half of the people are getting paid or not? It just absolutely doesn't make any sense to me. I think there's a lot of possibilities with this coin that if they can just come back, fix these bugs, man, you're going to get this community behind you. A lot of people are behind you on this coin. A lot of people lend this coin out to you. You know, so I definitely, for those who are just sitting back and looking to that Crisos, you know, I, I want you guys to just sit still. There's just nothing we can do. It's up for them to step up to the plate and to be excited about that. It also does you no favor, too, if you're out there and you're just fudding every post about Crisos. Let the haters do that. Let the haters do that. Your money's in there. Eventually, when this thing, if it, if it goes out to the external exchange and they come through, there's going to be a lot of people that they buy when they see it on the coin market exchange. They're just like that. You know, a lot of people can't deal with these ICO type of phases. And if you're one of those people that are still struggling with Creos and the ICO phases, maybe this is just not for you. Wait till a coin goes on to the external exchange or an internal exchange where they're buying and selling and you can do that. That's what Thorncoin doing. If you can't handle all these things, wait until Thorncoin opens up and buy the coin, you know, but it, may, it does you no good to fund this coin whatsoever. Even when at the end of the day, if they fix this bug, man, we could still be profitable because if they fix this bug and this USD goes up, it don't matter what the value of Christos coin is. We just sell it for whatever value it is and collect all that USD. And that's the quickest way to get your Bitcoin and get your initial investment out with some profit. So, you know, I definitely want to just keep you guys, keep your heads up. This is a very short video. Like I said, the Oracle is carpet bombing. And it's just a time to listen. It's a time to get ready um, because Thorncoin is coming up. There's a possibility that Crystals might be coming up with an internal or an opening of something or giving us a message. So we have to sit back and we have to wait, you know, and, and we have to, to put ourselves in the best position. Um, and I will be doing that. I will be coming out with a video tomorrow, um, literally in detail on what I'm doing with, with, with how I'm going to invest my Thorncoin. Um, because uh, because the internal exchange is coming up. I definitely want to push you guys into that long-term staking because I'm going to show you how I'm going to take advantage of that to collect as much coin as I can because I do believe throwing coin is a long run um, and, uh, and, and how I'm going to even take my initial profit at what price. I'm going to do all that for you guys so that you can see it because there's people that me have over a thousand coins and there's some that only have a hundred. And I want to cater out to anybody's. You just adjust it the way that you want. So this video is just stay focused on Crystals. There's You did everything you can. There's nothing more that you can do. Um, it's, it's for them to want to succeed. It's for them to want to take this platform to new heights. I mean, we, they got the back end of the community. Everybody did what they were supposed to do. It's Crystals. Crystals needs to do what they need to do um, to make this platform happen, all right? So this is your boy Loco from Crypto showing you nothing but love um, and just wanted to give you guys this shout out because we don't hear about Crystals anymore. Um, and it's not your, and it's, it's, it's no one's here. It's them. They need to do what they need to do, all right? Stay safe. It's your boy.